One of the great success stories of all time is the story of Noach. A heavenly decree had been given to destroy the entire world. Every single person and all of the animal life, all of the life in this world, the entire world, the entire generation was to be destroyed with a terrible flood. And yet Noah managed to exclude himself from this decree. He separated himself from others. He was unique. And that is to say he was separate in terms of his lifestyle. He wasn't degenerated and corrupted as the rest of the generation. He managed to live a different type of lifestyle, a separate lifestyle. And through this, an exception was made from him, for him, and his life and the life of his family was saved. And here we are today, all of us, descendants of Noah. This is maybe the greatest success of all time. On the other hand, Noah also suffered one of the greatest failures of all time. Because in the 120 years that it took him to build the ark, to build this boat, which became tremendously famous throughout the world, this crazy man who's building a boat because of a flood that's coming. In all of this time, he was unable to procure for himself even a single disciple, even a single student. No person in his entire generation came over to Noah's side and adopted his lifestyle. No one was, he was unable to interest anybody at all. No one. He couldn't persuade anyone at all to change over his lifestyle to the lifestyle of Noah, the type of lifestyle that saves lives. And it's for this reason that the prophets call the flood the waters of Noah. In a sense they blame him for the death of the generation because he was expected to have some type of influence on other people. We all want to succeed. Rabbi Yisrael Salanta teaches that one of the great keys to success, one of the secrets to success, is helping others. When we help others, whether it's our nation, whether it's our community, or even members of our family, when we help others, we are the ones who benefit the most. In helping others, really this is the way we help ourselves, and we grow best and we develop the most through helping others. So we have here from the story of Noah two ideas, two lessons that we should take with us. Number one, we should never be scared of being different from others. We don't have to follow the pack, follow the masses. If we see that what people are doing is wrong, let's not be afraid to separate ourselves from them in our thoughts, in our conduct. Let's, let's be ready to be unique. And the second lesson is that to succeed and to not fail as Noah failed, let's also work to better the lot of others. Let's also worry about others. Let's also work for others. And in this way we will release our own potential and reach for ourselves our greatest happiness and achievement.